on this episode of Hits Boxing. One of Bobby's fighters, Donatus Bondas, fights on ESPN. And with Bobby Hits around, there's always a little controversy. I called the doctor up. I said, can you see? Not so good. He wanted out. He wanted out of the fight. So I stopped the he fight. He didn't understand you. Sorry, it's a technical knockout? Technical knockout. He didn't understand you. Technical knockout. Right. Yeah. He didn't understand you. I believe that he you did. You don't speak Lithuanian, do you? Yeah. He didn't understand you. I said, and I can. Bobby Hitz grew up on the tough west side streets of Chicago. He went on to win the Golden Gloves boxing title and then turn pro. In Bobby's professional career, he went on to fight George Foreman. In the 90s, Bobby Hitz formed his company, Hitz Boxing. Bobby and his staff have made his company one of the most recognizable in the nation. And this is Hits Boxing. So check this out. Donatus is fighting this dude, right? But he goes to his corner and the ref comes up and asks him, can you see? Can you see? Donatus says, I can see. The ref says, what? He goes, I can't see. Well, he thought he said, I can't see. But Donatus was saying, I can see. You know, Donatus is from Lithuania. He has a bit of a Lithuanian accent. So the ref calls the fight because he says he said he can't see. And then Bobby jumps in, so check this out. Right now, we see the medical ringside physicians in the corner of Bondis as the promoters have also come up onto the apron. They're gathering the scorecards. We're getting the sense, we're looking for clarity ringside, that they're stopping the fight. Now, we don't know if they're stopping it going to the scorecards for a technical decision or not. Let's listen in. So to me, I don't, see, why, yeah, I don't see why they would stop it. I mean, this is boxing. This is not the opera. I mean, I want to look out for somebody as much as anyone else, but they understand the risk. These are fighters. Just like football players take a risk when they go out on the field. I mean, those cuts are not in an area where you would think it would interfere with the future. Safety of bondage. Let's go back and listen to the exchange between Fitch and Bondis after that last round. Here it is. He's saying he can't see anyone. Can you see? Not good. He said not good. That's it. It's over. No. no. See, I wonder if the fighter really understood what he was saying because you gotta, to be a good referee, you gotta understand you're dealing with an athlete that is in a difficult situation. He's under duress, you know, he's in a fighting situation. It's not a normal situation. You're asking him, can you see? He's honestly telling you, not too good right now. Uh, and then you should ask him again. Are you telling me, are you telling me you can't see good enough to go on? Are you telling me you don't want to go on? To me, you got to go a little deeper because of the circumstances. You have a boxer who's basically at warfare. He's in the ring, he's in combat. You know, no, I can't see. I got blood in my eyes, but I want to fight. Let this guy get the towel out of my eye, and you know what? I'll be okay. So you wonder whether or not the referee went far enough with that. Here in Verona, booing the official particulars because they know the effort that was being put forth by Bondis. Poor kid got robbed. He was beating the crap out of him, and then the ref calls the fight. So Teddy Atlas had Donatus Bondis on top at the time of the stoppage. Brian Vera comes up with a controversial TKO win. Spirited effort. Let's listen in to more with referee Charlie Fitch. I asked him if he could see. He said he couldn't see. So I called the doctor up. I called the doctor up. I said, can you see? Not so good. He wanted out. He wanted out of the fight. So I stopped the he fight. He didn't understand you. Sorry, it's a technical knockout. Technical knockout. He didn't understand you. Technical knockout. Right. Yeah. He didn't understand you. I believe that he you did. You don't speak Lithuanian, do you? Yeah. He didn't understand you. I said, yeah, I can. Not, he didn't not, understand not, you. Not I can, but I, he didn't understand you. I can. No, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> the line there by Bobby Hitz, do you speak Lithuanian? Donatus Bondis, the Lithuanian native, takes the loss tonight. A spirited effort, though. On the last fight that everybody saw, yeah. that we all feel, and that you and the whole world know that it was stopped early. Did you understand what the, the judge was asking you? The thing is, he asked me, can I see? Right. I said, I was, uh, I tell the truth. I'm right. a truth guy, truth guy. I tell him, not so well. Right. Because the blood was in my eyes. Right. But 
if you out of my eyes, hey, but I ask if you can yeah. fight. He, he didn't ask me, can can I do I want to fight? Right. He didn't ask me that. He just asked me, can I see it? Just not so well. And he, it's about enough. And he go, yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah, I think he was. He's them guy. Yeah. He was them guy. Well, I'll tell you what, you did a very good job. They're Thank all behind you. It's not just you saying it, it's the whole world saying that you were robbed on that fight. Yeah. And, uh, I think I was 5'2 uh, ahead. Yes, you five, were. Yeah, 5'2 ahead. Major ahead. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so all much. Right. My Thank you. You get better, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Rita Figueroa is one of Donatus' corner men or corner person, or corner woman, or whatever the proper term may be. But, you know, Rita's one of the few women, I sound like Bill Cosby, Rita's one of the few women in the ring. So I caught up with her and asked her what it was like to be a woman in a predominantly man sport. Let's just listen to what Rita says. I used to fight. I fought and I just love it. I just love it. I yeah. I love training the guys. I love watching them get better. I just it's just it's like a drug. Are you the only one doing this? I'm sure there's more. I mean, yeah. you have. I mean, I don't know in the state, but I, there's more. You know, Ann Wolf. God bless. I mean, look what she's done with some of the fighters, and they're out there. You just don't hear much about them because. Yeah, but on the level that you're doing, it seems like everybody wants you in the corner. You know, I, I've been in the gym and I, I'm in the gym with these guys and I'm working with them and. You know, I just, if I don't get better, they can't get better. So I got to keep getting better and right. Sam's helping me and, right. you know, so right. it works. Well, you do a phenomenal job. And I appreciate it. And uh, they love you. We all love and you. And you know what? And you and got some winners said, in your side. and. But you know what? If if I don't get the opportunity to work in the corners, right. then I don't get to do what I love too. So it's a win-win for everybody. This is Rita La Huera Figueroa. You're watching Hits Boxing. Coming up on Hits Boxing. Later on that day, we start driving downtown. NBC TV wants to do an interview on us because of the actuality show that we're doing. This is when I work out. It's like, I'm sorry, it's like interrupts my whole friggin' day. What? This is the time of day I work out. Then go work out this. in that corner. Go. <laughs> More hits boxing on the way, and another round starts right now. Later on that day, we start driving downtown. NBC TV wants to do an interview on us because of the actuality show that we're doing. Why I gotta be the cameraman? Why? Why couldn't I be like, you know, a towel boy or something like that? I gotta carry all this crap around every time we go to places, you know? <laughs> I got a lot of to carry too. Yeah, you do. Renee's the wheel man again. <laughs> this is not good. The last time we drove in the cars, kind of We don't scary. know where we're going today either, so. Yeah, right? And the nav isn't working. <laughs> it's not? I don't know. It's bringing up Franklin, Indiana. I don't even know where that is. So. Franklin, Indi Indiana? Is this on the south side? No. It's not like Franklin and uh, Randolph. It's by Franklin and Randolph? Yeah, we'll find it. It's oh, okay. I, 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 it's not far. So we're going down to a gym today because Channel 5 News is going to be doing a story on Hits Boxing, the TV show. Right. And we don't really talk too much about, you know, the show. Now that we're at 5 million, I, it just doesn't make, I, I can't comprehend it. Well, do you think that like when you still, like, I mean, my friends and family, like, in, in, you know how in your immediate circle, like, they kind of know what's going on, but you don't really fill them in as much as like some some people in the industry. You know what I mean? You right, don't talk right. to your friends or family like as a much about it or like. So, don't you feel like when you tell them like, oh yeah, you know we've been doing this thing for a year, or whatever, and then you say, oh, and it's had five million views. Don't you feel like they look at you funny? Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But but here's the thing. I have the three ants at right, home now, right? right? Since uh, 
my mother passed away last year this is uh the three ants have become my three moms right exactly you know which is totally awesome do you know that they are such huge fans right sure. of the show right and I think they're the reason why <laughs> they single-handedly they, they all live in New, New York, York. Yeah. you know and like New York is our second biggest state that watches the show right it's just that we never really talk right. to anybody outside ourselves exactly and I don't talk to the people within my circle about the show like for right. example my father probably just only watched like one or two episodes just recently like he knew what was going on but I don't think he ever well first of all I don't know how to use a computer so he would never be able to find it on his own but like it's amazing to me for sure you know I agree but you know five million people I don't know five million people, and you know. You I, don't. No, I don't know five million people. I'm sure if you ask Bobby, he says he's got about four he and a half million four, in his just contacts in his phone. In his yeah. phone you know. <laughs> he might. I don't know. I mean, this is the truth. When we yeah, first started doing everything. the show, I, I said, "Hey, you know what? Five thousand people watch the show." I mean, when, when we first got to five thousand, right? He's like. I go, who who knows 5,000 people? He seriously looked at me and said, oh, I got more than that in my phone. He probably does know 4 million people. I wouldn't doubt it. Right. Yeah. So do you ever have anyone that comes up to you and says, well, you're the girl from the show? That's funny. I Did Did I tell you that story? No. I was uh, bartending a few weeks ago, and there was a kid, a young guy, you know, at the bar, whatever. He was with a couple guys. And he was like, are you Renee? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you work for Bobby, right? And I just assume when people say that, and he what he did used to go to like the Rosemont uh, or uh, Ramada Rumbles and stuff, so he is like a, a patron of hits boxing. But I wasn't around back in those days, or at least if I was doing stuff, I wasn't really visible. Right. So he, I said, oh yeah, he's like, oh yeah, you know, I used to go to these shows, blah blah. blah. He's like, but I know you from the series. So that was probably my first. Pretty cool though. And we've only scratched the surface, you know, I'm sure that, you know, once a network picks it up, it'll be, you know, even bigger. I just gotta, I wish I, why, why do I gotta be the cameraman? I can hold it, you want me to hold the camera? Yeah, while you're driving? Uh -huh. So we get downtown and we're having a little meeting. This is Mike Saracola and John Moore. John Moore is our publicist. Mike Saracola works with Hits Boxing, coordinating, setting up boxers, setting up matches, and working hand in hand with Bobby and Renee. Well, Bobby's in the background because we're getting ready to do this interview, but they're not ready yet. They're running a couple of minutes late, so we decide to have a Hits Boxing meeting, and Bobby's over here punching the bag, acting like a moron, while we're trying to get work done. This is when I work out. It's like, I'm sorry, it's like it interrupts my whole friggin' day. Time of day work out, then go work out in that corner. Go. <laughs> okay. Next time on Hits Boxing. He, he's not ever serious, so that's why we just we do our meetings and we just fill them in later. And, and I just don't like meetings, you know, so I can, get, I can get what I need to get accomplished with a phone call or all these meetings about, you know, it's like, it's a waste of time. Let's just get it done, make a decision and go with it. You know, you got the, the three blind mice over there. I'm out there. I, I don't I can't take it. Later on that day, we head downtown because NBC Chicago wants to do a story on hits boxing. The, the reality... Oh, f f Later on that day, we head downtown because Leanne Trotter from NBC TV in Chicago wants to do an article on us. No, not an article. That would be the f newspaper. Later on that day, we drive downtown because NBC TV. No. Later on that day, we start driving downtown because Leanne Trotter from NBC TV Chicago wants to do an interview with us about the hits boxing reality TV show. It's not a reality TV show, it's an actuality TV show. I only fucking put the thing together and I don't know how, what I'm talking about. Hits Boxing is produced by Bobby Wood Productions.